The question that men frequently ask is how they can boost their worth or what they can do to achieve the greatest improvement with the least amount of time and effort. So here are the three rules that can make any boy a man. Number one, attentiveness. The majority of guys are unaware of the worth of their own attention, which has become the new currency since the advent of the internet. Nowadays, social media makes it simpler than ever for girls to get the attention and affirmation they crave from the tens of millions of men who willfully give it to them without a second thought. Men simply aren't aware of the value of their own attention. It's actually what women use and what makes them so attractive. What matters is how much attention or how little they're willing to provide. You see, men always look for affirmation from women because it makes us feel great. However, the reason we crave approval and attention is more significant since it's physically built into our DNA or into our mating strategy. So it feels great when we finally receive some attention from a girl or some form of validation. However, unlike the majority of men on earth, ladies do not readily give out their attention. This is a big part of why they're actually so alluring. Because if girls just gave away their attention, the way most guys do, it wouldn't feel like much of a feat for us as guys to be able to acquire that attention. So you have to ask yourself, what is the most effective approach to flip the script? Or to put it another way, how can you as a guy value your attention in a way that'll make you obscenely more alluring and attractive? Simply restricting it is the simplest approach to accomplish this. The majority of men today are so ready and open with their attention that it essentially loses all value. One of the top things that guys without game do is this. They'll readily provide all of their attention to any female who asks for it, whether she's in person, on social media, or in any other situation. You should already be aware that girls prefer people with options, and they have an innate understanding that a man with options will not just give away his attention because he recognizes the high value of it. Like what do you think I would do if I had a girlfriend and she started wasting my time by playing games with me? The solution is that I would divert my focus away from her. You guys need to understand that attention is essentially a drug for women and that women are far more naturally programmed to adore and crave attention than men are. So when you limit your attention or when you value it by withholding it when necessary, you're doing something that most guys either can't do or aren't even aware of how to do. Let's take an example. Men who women perceive as players. Everybody does it. They're all aware of the importance of their attention and how to be selective with it. You know, it'll be simpler to naturally value your attention the more you guys pursue your objective. But to appreciate your attention, you don't have to be overly busy or lead an outrageously cool lifestyle. There are so many unavailable men and men with poor value in the world. They all lack understanding of the genuine significance of their attention, which unites these men. They lack the knowledge necessary to make that attention rare. What a lot of guys don't realize is that when girls do this, they constantly limit their focus. What in your opinion do most men do? The majority of guys will start messaging girls back and will pursue them more aggressively than they did before their attention was constrained. Therefore, if they can stop doing this, if they can recognize the worth of their attention and know when to limit it, it'll significantly improve your game and make you appear more desirable to women. Number 2. Novelty Another facet of the game is novelty, which is essentially just a fancy way of saying, stand out. But when you consider all the attractive women in existence, it's impossible to deny that attractive women are treated differently in our society, particularly when it comes to men who will essentially do everything to attract the attention of a stunning woman. Good looking girls frequently try to get away with things merely to see if they can, since most of the time, they can. As you can see, the majority of guys actively encourage this conduct. One of the most crucial things to realize is that attractive women should never ever be treated differently. Because of how differently they treat gorgeous girls, most guys are extremely predictable and make it painfully clear that they have no other options. Most other guys are just showing off and bragging while thinking they're standing out, but really they're just making themselves look more desperate. 
All the guys out there that truly understand the game, understand novelty, and know how to stand out. You see, refusing to pay attention to all of these attractive women is a novelty. Another method to stand out is to refrain from constantly complimenting attractive women, as the majority of other guys do. Simply going against the grain of what most males are frightened to do or acting in a way that most other men do not is novelty. The third and last rule is something that can be referred to as the roller coaster, and it's perhaps the most crucial part of this entire video. If you haven't been living under a rock, you probably know that women tend to live in a world that's predominantly emotional. The crazy thing about this is that the feelings don't even have to be positive ones for women to be filled. Understanding that women crave drama is one of the most crucial things you can ever do. This doesn't mean that it's exclusive to women though, but a lot of women actively look for it in their life. So how does this relate to the game? Let me illustrate this with an example. I used to know a guy back in school. He had every quality that you might expect to draw attention from women. His parents had money. He was wealthy. He had status due to his excellent looks and participation on the football team. This guy never had a girlfriend. He was just too boring. Which is why he never had a girlfriend. You see, this guy was great at making girls happy. But happiness alone is insufficient. Knowing how to take women on an emotional roller coaster is one of the most crucial components of the game. But how exactly do you do this? What this means is that you can be making her happy and giving her all these positive emotions one minute and then poking fun at her a few minutes later. Or maybe doing something that might make her even question whether you like her. A lot of guys out there often question why girls cheat. They won't admit it, but a lot of times they end up doing it just for the drama. Since cheating for a girl is essentially like riding the largest roller coaster at Six Flags. Therefore, the majority of men react in the same way when a woman cheats on them. They freak out, unintentionally giving the woman what she craves the most. Attention, drama, or a roller coaster. You see, the reason why girls watch so many of these drama-centric shows like The Kardashians is that they have an insatiable appetite for drama which, believe it or not, is one of the most potent motivators of attraction. Observe how all the girls out there chase the playboys, not because they're decent guys who know how to treat women well, but rather because they're men who can take women on an endless roller coaster ride. There are a lot of guys out there right now who have everything that should make them appealing and make them a really excellent catch, yet they still struggle to pique the interest of women. So you might be wondering, why? Well, they just lack the game necessary to comprehend this straightforward idea. This component of the game is helpful whether you're married, in a relationship, with a girl, or single. You should always keep in mind that almost every female would rather be with a bad boy who's interesting than a good guy who's unable to elicit any strong emotions from her. Even if she were upset with you, this will always be better than her feeling nothing at all. You'll obviously be better at your game if you're one of those individuals who can spike their emotions up and down almost at a whim. You'll automatically be able to do things that roughly 90% of men are either unable to do or aren't even aware how to do. The ability to send ladies on this emotional roller coaster is the third and last important component of the game. So what do you guys think? What are other rules that can make any boy into a man? Let us know in the comments section below and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos. See you next time.